Hey guys, it's LSD79 with another build video. This is going to be my one shot skill pistol build with the uh, Hunter's Fury. Let's go right into it. I use the Gunner Specialization uh, mainly because it gives you armor on kill and also when you stand still you get uh, accuracy and stability, some weapon handling. Uh, also you get every third reload is 50% uh, faster so you're gonna have some good uh, things for this build. Then the main weapon we use is the D50 pistol with pistol damage and headshot damage. Then I have the determined talent on it. After killing, uh, after killing an enemy with a headshot, the next shot landed on any enemy will be a guaranteed headshot. So even if you shoot him in the hand or in the feet, it will count as a headshot. You can also have the perfect determined, but the perfect determined uh, doesn't actually work with this build. You need normal determined with a D50, because the D50 is the most damaging pistol, I think, in the game. So yeah, D50 with determined, and then I put uh, the scope on, uh, headshot, you can also put, put the scope on. Uh, yeah, D50 determined, that's what you want. Then, as a secondary, I use the Model 700 replica uh, marksman rifle, with marksman rifle damage, headshot damage, and damage out of cover. Then I put also determined on that, and those are the mods. This is not really important. Then I have a Scorpio, same, not important. The pistol is the most important. Uh, let's go to the gear. I have the Hunter's Fury uh, a mask, which gives you shotgun damage, SMG damage, 20% armor on kill, and 50 health on kill. Uh, so yeah, this set will keep you alive. You, we're gonna kill a lot, so you're constantly gonna get armor on kill, you're constantly gonna get health on kill. So yeah, it's really good. Then if you have all four pieces on, you get the Apex Predator. Enemies within 50 meters receive a debuff, amplifying your damage dealt against them by 20%. Killing a debuffed enemy with your weapon disoriented all other enemies within 5 meters and amplifies damage by 5% for 10 seconds and stacks up 5 times. So yeah, if you just go close to an enemy with your pistol, you gain 20% uh, amplified damage and then if you get the kill, uh, you get even more damage. And then I put on uh, weapon damage, headshot and headshot. We're gonna do a lot of headshots with this build. Then I have the chain killer chest piece from the Walker and Harris, which gives you 5% weapon damage. Then the core S boot is uh, 15 weapon damage. I have some armor regen on the build and two times headshot damage. And with the chain killer, you get perfect uh, headhunter. After killing an enemy with a headshot, your next weapon hit within 30 seconds deals an additional 150% uh, of that killing's blow damage. Um, damage is kept at 800% of your weapon damage. This is raised to 1250% uh, if your headshot damage is greater than 150. And yes, our uh, headshot damage will be, I think, 250. So yeah, we're gonna get that uh, extra boost on it. Then I have uh, a Hunter's Fury uh, holster with Apex Predator, weapon damage and headshot damage. Then a Hunter's Fury uh, knee pad, the same with headshot damage, weapon damage. And a Hunter's Fury glove with weapon damage and headshots. And then I use a Memento backpack, mainly for two reasons. This gives you weapon damage, armor and a skill tier. And I put head, uh, headshot damage on it. And then uh, the talent is kill confirmed. Enemies you kill drop a trophy on that. Collecting the trophy uh, provides both a short and a long term buff. The first of which skills with a number of core attributes equipped uh, and last 10 seconds. So yeah, with the momentum you get a short and a long term buff. Uh, and the short term buff uh, you get 5% weapon damage, 10% bonus armor and 5 skill efficiency. So yeah, every kill you make you get 5% weapon damage for 10 seconds. And the long term buff is for every trophy collected you gain an additional weapon damage. 1% uh, skill efficiency and 0.1 armor regeneration for 300 seconds and that stacks up to 30 times so if you get 30 kills you will have 30 weapon damage 30 skill efficiency and 3% armor regen and that's for 300 seconds so this backpack keeps you alive and um, gives you good damage and another important thing is uh, because this momentum gives you armor and a skill tier my shield is gonna be at skill tier 2 and that gives you gives it extra health and extra regeneration. So yeah, the momentum. And yeah, well, we're talking about the shields. Uh, 
this uh, bulwark shield, the big shield, with 6,000 health, active regen, hostage regen, skill tier 2 because of the memento, uh, active regen, shield health, hostage regen, uh, shield health, shield health, hostage regen. Then next to it, I have the revive hive, just to keep you alive. It's a full DPS build, so you need some survivability, and the revive is always there to pick you up. Uh, with revive, armor repair, range, and health. So yeah, this is just a full DPS build. You're melting enemies with one shot. Let's check the stats. Uh, it has the Scorpio, Determined, Determined. Let's switch to the pistol stats. Yeah. Then weapon damage is half a million. Quit chance we don't care about. Quit damage the same. Uh, the headshot damage is 215. Uh, armor damage, range, reload, accuracy, stability. Yeah, we're gonna go close to the enemies, so the accuracy and stability doesn't really matter. We're just gonna run up to them, trigger the Hunter's Fury, and yeah. Pistol damage at 30. There's the Memento backpack, the chest piece, Hunter's Fury, we have the full sets. Hawk and Harris. Armor, armor on kill, armor regen. This armor regen will be higher because we use the Memento backpack. That's giving you armor, yeah. So that's uh, good, Memento is even better. Max health, health on kill, health regen. Yeah, those are all the stats. The shield stats. And the revive stats. I'm gonna put in some gameplay now. Doing control points and activities. Hope you guys like the build. If you have any questions about it, write it in the comments. Hope you guys have a nice day. LSD789, out. We need to find out what happened to the team that went to try to repair the main shade node. The Federal Shelter should be beneath your current position. Find a way down there, but proceed with caution. hiding from us was at Roosevelt Island. Cats could have taken out an entire squad in a fair fight. Not possible.
shield! How do we do? Online computer. Detected. Great. You can use the computer to sync Isaac with their comm system. Hopefully we can get a 20 on our team. If they're in any shape to answer. Connection. Established. Hello? Can you hear me? This is Manny Ortega with the division. Uh, Manny, thank God. It's Maya. I'm all that's left on our team. We couldn't get the note back online. I salvaged some equipment that will get the White House note connected to the national network, but before I could get back, those crazy fucks showed up. You gotta get me out of here. Bitch can't hide forever. Immediate medical assistance needed. Agent down. on the way, Maya. Sit tight and just try to stay calm. Gotta put out the flames. I don't know if Maya has any fireproof gear.
I'm safe for now, but I don't think they're gonna stop coming after me. I don't know what I did to make them so mad. You have to stop them. They're coming! When you did, I'll head back as soon as the escort team arrives. With the equipment Maya recovered, we can restore the Shade network across the entire country. Now I'll send a team to assist Maya and retrieve the fallen for a proper burial.
reinforcements en route. Detecting additional hostile contacts. Detected. Near my location. Guarded by hostiles. Hostiles detected. Good here today. 